Hello, I'm uh, Chris Coleman-Smith from Hoskins Architects and I'm uh, here to talk about uh, Rock Villa. Um, it's a project we've been working on for several years with the National Theatre of Scotland and it's right next to this building if you've, uh, you've not seen it. So I, I put an intro slide in not, not realising I'd have an intro slide. Um, <laughs> so I've got an extra 20 seconds to talk which is fantastic. <laughs> Um, but, but as a practice, we're very fortunate to work in, uh, in the, the cultural sector, um, art galleries and, and museums. We're based in two offices in uh, Glasgow and Berlin. And so we've got a few projects on site at the minute, Aberdeen Art Gallery, um, Scottish uh, National, uh, uh, National uh, Gallery of Scotland, which is uh, just going on to site next year. And we're working on the World Museum in Vienna at the minute as well, which is uh, through our Berlin office, which is... Uh, really exciting to, to be involved in. Um, and I suppose just thinking about the site next door, um, we, we started working with the National Theatre of Scotland uh, years ago when we did uh, a project at the Bridge Art Centre Easter House, um, which we uh, first got to know them. They, they moved in, in there. Um, and um, we, we're used to working by canals. We, we, we have done a few projects that uh, you, you might have seen. Um, so the, the National Theatre of Scotland... Um, Really exciting organisation, um, very diverse. They're more than uh, just performance. There's a whole range of people working behind the scenes all, all over the city. Uh, and they were accommodated in four different buildings um, spread out uh, around the city. Um, and uh, so the facilities they had were pretty basic. Um, so uh, performance it was really restricted in, in what they could do. And it's amazing the quality of work they are able to uh, achieve. So what they wanted to do was group everyone together uh, into one building to, to create an efficient place to work, uh, enable those connections and opportunities to meet, which they didn't really have or were limited. And that, if you like, reflects a bit about the wider area, the, the cultural quarter, and, and why they chose to stay in this area. So one of their buildings was... Uh, on the edge here, and obviously this is an area that's undergoing regeneration, Lot, lots happening, and they were keen to be part of that. So the building they, they looked at uh, was um, just next to the Whiskey Bond, and it was a cash and carry. Uh, it was a big blue shed, and it's still affectionately called the Big Blue Shed. Um, so part of the project before really we started was um, clearing the site, uh, and getting it ready. And that, I guess, showed the National Theatre the opportunity. So um, Scottish Canals have done a lot of work along the canal to open it up uh, and, if you, if you like, create the setting for the building. Um, and it, it really has opened up the views and, and opened up the links. So there's obviously a new bridge that comes through and connects as well. Um, and they were really struck with the quality of the space. Um, you go in there, there was, there was nothing, a big empty space, and, and what an opportunity that is, you know, to get everybody together, uh, infinite variety of functions that you can do there. And so we were really keen to, to keep something of the character of this and, and build on it. Uh, and to, to, to look at the functions that they had in their organization uh, and bring them all together around this central core, um, this, this social space, if you like, uh, which connected the, all the functions of rehearsal, technical areas, and office accommodation. So the people that maybe didn't see each other had that opportunity. Um, and, and this was a, an, an early image that we, we looked at, how that might work, and the opportunities for those glimpse views from one space to another, so that you know, as someone booking tickets for a flight to Japan, they could see the rehearsal going on in one of the studios and the set being made uh, in the technical uh, storage areas. And so it kind of came together in a, in a plan, um, and, um, which, is, which is this. Um, so the green is the social space that glues it all together, if you like. Um, the red is the, 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 red is the uh, rehearsal spaces, uh, and the, the orange and yellow kind of serves it. That's the, the technical areas. So sets could be wheeled into in and out of rehearsal spaces. Um, and the, the entrance area would become a, a, a public space um, part of the function is, is also a, a community function, so opportunities for people to come into the building to, to perform and learn about the theatre and the National Theatre. And the building really is, um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a building for rehearsal and, and a building for testing ideas. Uh, a, they, they like to call it a, a cultural um, uh, factory or a, an, an engine room. Um, where they, they can develop uh, and test out ideas and then take them out to the, the wider community. Um, and so we've just been finished a couple of weeks 
Um, I don't have any great photos at the minute. I think you can tell that they, they moved in um, quite early. Um, and so there's still snagging going on. Um, but th this is the, the spaces that, that, that we're able to give them, which is brilliant. So there's three big rehearsal spaces. And I think that's really the big prize for them, that they can, they can have their own building and, and, and do those rehearsals. And then above the rehearsal spaces and the technical areas are the office areas, uh, which kind of oversee everything. And this is where the, the, the views happen, and, and you can get that interaction on a, on a different level uh, as, you, as you raise up into the space. And the idea was really to keep it as informal and um, sociable as possible, really reflecting the ethos of the, the National Theatre. Um, a place where people, people could come and meet and join together in the building um, and, and in the wider community as well, and then take what they've got and, and take it out uh, into, into the wider community uh, and into the world, indeed, across um, in all the countries that they're, they're performing at the minute. Um, so externally... We kept it very simple, um, using the existing shed and the footprints, reusing um, the existing steelwork. Um, we had to take off all the, the, the tin. There wasn't really a lot there. Um, but replacing that and putting it all back together in an industrial facility, um, which, uh, if you like, gave um, something of the, 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 their character, N not, not something that's precious, um, something that's very robust and, and durable. Um, something that you can see in, but also allows some degree of privacy um, uh, and shading, uh, but something that they can see out as well. So they're looking out into the, the wider world and can take their productions um, out, uh, out of the building into, into wider society. Thank you.